No, let's see. There's a white tip. There's a white tip, yeah. Let's go check. We'll just wait a couple of minutes, guys. Right, so we'll get some things sorted. <laughs> not in green screens, because all of the great, not all the time, can I get it just perfect. Sometimes it is annoying. But. We'll try. Okay. And we're live. There we go. I can't. <laughs> so what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. I am Lucius, um, your host. Um, and we're here today for the first episode of Uncharted 2 Among the Thieves. This is part of the Nathan Drake collection. This is the second part to, um, to the third part series. Um, and we're here today to play the first one, of course. Um, Oh, sorry, it's play Uncharted 2, sorry. Uh, the graphics in this one, I do but I do believe in the, um, they remade this for PlayStation 3, I think. So, the graphics did get enhanced quite quite well. So, I think this one, the graphics should be uh, at least better than the first one, of course. Um, and I'm looking forward to playing the third one, because the graphics were just as good in the third one as it was in the fourth one. So, um, why is it in this one? Have you noticed I have put in the title um, Shane Dawson and Jake Paul because throughout this stream I will be talking about J the, the the Shane Dawson series with Jake Paul of course and the mind of Jake Paul uh, that's the reason why it's in the title for because obviously I want to put my opinion out there of what I think because things have changed, things have happened, drama's come out things have been said and it's like well uh, how did you take it? And I mean obviously I have my opinion of course now obviously it's my stream so I'm going to talk about it why the hell not? Um, that's why I'm doing this for. Um, plus, uh, I'll talk about a couple of other things in this stream as well with other different YouTubers, what's going on. Something um, I was going to put in this tr title, but I'm not going to because I uh, respect for... Only because I respect him and I like him. It's the only reason why I've not put his name. Jack Jacksepticeye, or as most of you know, Sean McLaughlin. Um, he recently, something's happened with him. Uh, but there is, for me personally, I see a problem with how he's done it. Um, you know, and I get people want to give him his privacy and stuff like that, but I'll just quickly touch on that first before going anyway, right? Jack Septicai, a couple months ago, decided after his tour that he, he would go, he was going to go straight to LA uh, and live it there for a couple of weeks and collaborate with some other YouTubers. Now, that was a story he'd give to everybody, but obviously a bit more in depth than that, but basically that was it. And there wasn't any genuine reason for, there wasn't any real reason for him wanting to do that. It was just a case of, oh well, if I was to go to LA, I'm going to LA, I'm going to collaborate with some people out there. Now in the back of my mind, I thought, but what about your girlfriend? Is she going to come with you? Or is she just going to sit at home? Is she, what's she doing for her life? You know what I mean? You, I'm not be funny, but girls are different from boys. Girls want you know, contact and closeness with you. Uh, and if you separate yourself in that manner, eventually girls start detaching themselves away from you because you're not giving them th what they want. And I'm not saying in the media or anything, what I'm saying is girls are very um, close creatures, love that comfort of knowing that they're safe and they're protected. And you are going out your way to go out of it. Now, I know YouTube obviously takes you the way you are and your girlfriend's got to be understanding on that manner because if you're going to go to a convention or if you're going to go to anything like that, you've got to go. It's part of your business, so to speak. But that's expect But that's like as it grows. The problem I seen was uh, you didn't just go for like a week or two like you said you was. You went out there for like you're still there now. And obviously during that, what, every time you had a video come out, you didn't look happy. You looked depressed, I'm sorry to say. You didn't look you. You, you didn't act like you. You acted like someone like you've been hurt. And obviously, it's been recently come out that obviously him and his partner have split up. Uh, and that's the real reason for him going to LA. Now, that was a couple of months ago. And that's what I can't get. I can't, I can't, you, well, Jack Septic has a massive, massive community. And for me, personally, it hurts me because not one you split up, because that hurts anybody. But it's because 
for me, it's like, what you can't trust your own community that they're going to give you the respect at the time and the support at the time that what you're really going to need, that you had to lie from them, hide it from them until a couple of months later where, okay, now things are official, now we've done it. I'm like, if you're my community, I'll tell you everything that's going on. And at the end of the day, he said, if I split my girlfriend, I'm going to tell you that. If I'm going to, if I, no, if things are going good or I'm going to get married, then I'm going to tell you that too when it happens. Because I'm going to be, I know I'm telling you about something exciting is something you're always going to tell. But you did, the thing is, Jack Hepsky did his, his live streams, his uh, live streams for the PMA, um, what you call it, Positive Mental Attitude, and he did it for charities, and he did it in his own home, and that was so damn good, that was so noble of him to do, and everybody got involved, they were making a, a lot of money, hundreds of thousands of, hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know, to all of a sudden cutting all that off and going straight to LA, just because, I know you broke up, I know it's hard, but for me, I trust my community to give me the support that I, I really needed at the time to keep me strong and the only way I could see it is did you do something that bad that that's why like Dr. Disrespect like that you had to hide it from your own community I, I don't know I don't know the ins and of it but it's just because you've left it so long and it happened so long ago it's like you know, you should, you know, don't keep it to yourself, that's how self-harm happens, that's how depression, anxiety kicks in, this is how, you know, suicide ends up happening, because it's like, you keep it to yourself, and it's like, you don't think anybody else is out there, or got your back, or anything like that, is going to help you, and support you, when you don't realise how many people you do actually have, that is always there for you, you know what I mean, I know you got your friends and family, but the community is such a good thing to have, and they are such loving. I've seen the community that Jack Jepsky has created. They are a loving community, even though I personally think Jack Jepsky is one hell of a selfish, selfish person. Because what he doesn't realise is what made him famous is something he won't do himself. That's not right. And today he said, and I'm afraid I'm one of the people that says, yeah. Jack Jepsky got famous because he got the shelter. Now, whether you want to believe that or whether you want to believe uh, whatever they say, the fact of the matter still remains. You went from 2,000 subscribers one night, then went to 20,000 within a week later. It may have died off, but PewDiePie, how many times has PewDiePie shouted over and over? How many times has PewDiePie put you in his title, put you in his games, collaborated with you over and over? This is what's made you famous. Bollocks to everything else you've done. That's what's made you famous. I'm sorry, but that's the damn truth, whether you like it or not. Look at Markiplier with his friend Tyler. His, his Tyler, um, Tyler's mum had cancer. And while I feel for Tyler, I really do. I hope everything's going well for the guy. You know what I mean? But he had nothing on his channel. He made one video, right, on his channel. Markiplier shouted him out, and he was an overnight fame. He got, like, what, a half a million, and just overnight by Markiplier mentioning his name, and saying, go and subscribe to his channel, go watch his video. Boom, the guy's famous. I said, so when a famous YouTuber shouts you out, you get famous, you get that. And if you create the content and you're still good, then yeah, you will make your own channel grow better because YouTube recognizes you as a as a as an influencer and they push you out themselves. People like myself, who some people said I've got great I've got cr uh, great uh, content or I I'm good in my stream or whatever. That's that's not here nor there. What I'm saying is people have said it and they're just saying we just wish you had a bigger following so you could do more ch uh, more challenges like I want to do. I said me too, but YouTube's never going to push my content out there because it's not monetized yet. As soon as you're monetized, you switch tiers. And when you switch tiers, YouTube recognizes your video as getting to, again, to be an up, up and coming star. So they push your videos out there further and further. So you get that fame. So you get that rolling in. Providing you have got to be on. Uh, the one thing is you've got to be consistent with your work. If you do, if you put a schedule where you do it daily, then you've got to do it daily. If you put a video where you do it weekly, you do it weekly. Look at Killem. Uh, kill him. Uh, he st specifies he does one video on a Wednesday every single week, and sometimes he made another one. That's his schedule, and because of doing that, he's now got millions. Of, he's got a couple million subscribers because he sticks by that schedule. So it isn't just a shouter. The shouter will get you the, the the overnight success, so to speak. But to keep that success and to keep the uh, the thing on on the train, so to speak, you've got to be consistent with your work. That's the truth about YouTube, and that's the truth about being famous. Bollocks to what they all say. That is the truth. If you get the shout out, then you've got to keep on it yourself. And obviously, when you get the shout out and, you, and you've got that, that fame, that success, so to speak, there, collab with other YouTubers. That doesn't matter whether they're better than you or have more subscribers than you. I'm not saying better or worse than me. If they've got more subscribers or less subscribers, 
if you collab with other YouTubers, you see you see to be a caring person, and you'll get more subscribers from that way. I'm not saying uh, exploited from that manner, but it's true. It's fact. It's what happens. So, well, at the end of the day, but most, and I forgot to say, I've talked to my cousin, um, what's called, shout out to DJ Harrison. I was talking to him the other day, and he, and he, he, he recognised the point I was trying to make. Nowadays, because the way YouTube has turned, all most YouTubers are selfish or greedy. That's how they are. They all want to make their own money. They all want to get as much as possible. They all want to be a success without putting any work or effort into it. At the end of the day, I feel for the for the tradesmen out there that are working. Your father, your mother, the nine to fivers, the one that go out there, a skilled nurse, a skilled plumber. You know, somebody that's working in your supermarket. They deserve the bloody effort and they deserve the, the round of applause because they're the ones doing the grind every single day, getting peanuts for it just to keep a roof over your head. And they're the ones that need they're the ones that need the support more than we do. I'm not talking about me, but the, the bigger YouTubers. When it comes to like something like Sean McLaughlin, where it's like with PewDiePie did make you famous, and the fact is, how can I put it this way as well? Is you don't think that after that that nothing else come of it? How many, put yourself a poll on your channel stating how many people are on your channel right from going to a PewDiePie video, seeing your name, and then going from PewDiePie's channel to your channel, seeing you and for oh these two connect to each other and then subscribe. Just put that poll up there. I bet you'd be surprised. I bet it won't be like, oh well, only 10% come from PewDiePie's channel. Guarantee it, it'll be more like 40 or 50% have come from PewDiePie's channel because your name's in his, his channel. That's how it bloody works. Because PewDiePie really likes Sean McLaughlin. PewDiePie really likes him in that manner. So it works that way. So whether you like it or not, it's true. Now, the only saying, the reason why I'm saying I think he's selfish for it is because he won't do a show to himself. Now, I'm not asking for one. I'm not saying it should be me. What I'm saying is he could at least, and he's like, I don't know, his charity live stream, turn around. He could turn it to profit if he want to pay for it. Whoever donates the most on this charity live stream gets a shout out from my channel. You know, I'm, I'm not saying it's a bidding war, but how many people are going to start putting more money into that? It's going to a great cause. They're going to get something in return at the end of it. It's just more of a case of you going, yo guys, check out Jack Jacksepticeye, go over to his channel. You know, guy's a great creator, does great games. You know, well, that's free. It's free to say that. So why not try and do something like that? So, but to turn around and say, I don't do that cold turkey, I ain't ever going to do that, it makes you look, well, sorry, a dick, from my point, because you're not fair. Anyway, just, that's what made you famous, so why not return it? At least once in all the uh, how many years you've been doing YouTube, you can at least do at least one form of competition to help out other people. If you think, why don't you do it? Look at, jo look at Drama Alert, Keemstar, for instance. Keemstar does that. He got he looks through he does actually genuinely look through content and if he sees someone he likes, like Philly D and Fox, and I don't like putting them together, but they are roughly the same. Philly D does the same, uh things are on awesome. He puts a small channel in there that he thinks is worth a look at and a recommendation that's got two subscribers, a hundred thousand subscribers, if he thinks they're good and they're worth a look at, then he puts them in a channel to give that creator a chance. It's just that chance, and, and Drama Alert does the same. He only has 1 million subscribers, and he does the same. In his description, he'll have a channel that he recommends that he likes. You know what I mean, he does challenges. Listen, guys, do a video, you know, go, do some gaming, try and do a bit of good commentary, so share it all over to me on Twitter. If I think your content's good, I'll, I'll give you a shout out in the next Drama Alert. You know, some of these YouTubers do it, and that's why I'd rather go to that YouTuber than him, because in the day, he said they're more compassionate and, and caring than you are. You're in it for yourself. Now, I'm not saying your content's not good. I'm not saying the game is not good. It's fantastic. I'm just saying your own attitude stinks. From when you first started, it was great in the way you were. You was like everybody else. But you've gone into the I'm so important routine. Don't do that because you'll just end up dying, killing your channel off. And that's what I don't like. Anyway, I've talked for long enough. Let's get into this new game. This is Uncharted 2, Among Thieves. Uh, I'm going to get into the campaign. Uh, easy. I, the only reason why I'm putting these for it is because I, I can't stand the constant fighting. I want to explore, guys, and I enjoy it. So, new game data. This is just saving. There we go. I'm back again. Microphone audio games being played. Yeah, no problem. So, we are now starting a new one. So, let's see how it goes. So, I'm sorry about my rant. So, that was what I thought. But I'll give, like I said, I will give Jack Septicai, obviously, 
uh, white birth because obviously of the split up it's hard to go through that especially when you love someone so damn much I'm the same got a girlfriend of nine years and I'd hate to break up it, it, it'd kill me but sometimes things happen there you go look at the graphics in this game guys look how good the graphics have changed from the first game to the second game wow that's damn good wow that is so good I know they redid it for um, this, this, from PlayStation 2 to PlayStation 3. I know they redid it. And look at the difference, guys! It's like I'm playing Uncharted 4! That is so good! Look, graphics difference is so much better, so much better. But it, it dropped me straight into the deep end. Oh, oh, oh. oh come on, Drakey boy. Hang on now. Come on, you monkey. Get climbing. Oh, they started with some style this time. There we go. There we go. So this is me playing now. I'm on chapter one between a rock and a hard place. Okay, so which way do we go? So I don't know whether I can jump up or not. I can see a bar up there, so obviously I'm gathering. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Up. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's dropped me off in the hard place here, isn't it? It's definitely between the rock and hard place. Which way do we go? Which way do we go? Oh, that, them wheels look like this. But them axles look a bit, a bit suspicious here. Oh, it's just a rock! Oh, no! Right. And also, if you guys have noticed as well, um, Call of Duty... Uh, Call of Duty, of course, uh, 4 is out now. Yeah, of course I want to get it, of course I do. But because I bought other games, because I bought other games first, partially, the fun's not there. So. This could be the first time I've ever said this too. If you want to donate to this channel, the link is on my ch my channel my channel page. It's up in the corner if you ever want to donate to this, this channel. Don't all donations are of course welcome. No, I never asked it before, but it's the first time I ever say it. All donations will go. I know I must uh, this disclaimer will turn into all donations to, to this channel will go to either enhance, enhancing this channel or it will enhance this channel Ooh, okay. yeah it will go to enhance this channel of course and also to buy other games that's exactly what your money will go to so if I require a, a better PC because the game's not, not good enough if I'm doing it that way, then it will go towards that. If there's a game, where are you going? Well, thank God you actually that's better. If, uh, for instance, um, if there's a game come out and uh, and you watch, and you guys donate enough to it, then obviously then. Woo! Uh oh, that's not good. Dual shock lever and dual shock controller is getting low. Look, I haven't got a fully charged one down there. God, uh, you really are breaky boy, aren't you? Jesus. Take him out, get him down. Come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, he's expecting this one. Oh, we're gonna go back down again. <laughs> back down. Come on, run. Come on, come on. There we go. Here you are. That was funny, but it looks like he's a zombie. Okay, I'm guessing we're going to go back to what lead, led us up to this point. Maybe so, maybe so. Uh, just let me know, guys. Well, if I noticed on Blasphemous, uh, uh, for those who don't know, what I another YouTuber called uh, 
BHD or Blasphemous HD drink, or Sam. Morris Barnett. Uh, he he's a, a well-known reaction hey. channel. What the hell are you doing here? He's a well-known oh, reaction channel. Now, subtitles on, of course, for you guys. You mate. Uh oh. Should I be yeah. flattered or uh, He does a well-known reaction channel. But he also does gaming. He's got a gaming channel too. I'm uh, not putting the description, but you want to check him out. That's Blasphemous HD TV oh, two or Blasphemous really? HD Gaming. Clients you want to go there and check him out. The guy is hilarious. I mean, I find him. Object. I find him so funny. But he's playing uh, yeah. Black Ops 2 Nothing Zombies like currently, so jealous of some of that. Uh, but he, because uh, he's playing that, it's amazing just, just what he's watching. Mr. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. Yo, oh, look who it is! Oh, I hope. Nate, Drake, Nathan, Drake. Look who it is, guys! Hello, Harry. Chloe is one of the best drivers in the business. No, as you guys know, I've just played the Lost Legacy where I'm playing this character. This is where, she, this is where she originally come in. Got it all figured out. Go in through the sewer. Loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds but like it must you're be worth, for a worth something to someone. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, Ah, oh, that's what I was saying. Yeah, what I was saying before about BHD, he has plenty of stream, but I struggle to more. hear him on his stream. Um, I turned my TV up quite loud. Um, did message him saying, listen, you need to turn your stream up. It's, it's re relatively quiet. You uh, so if this stream is too quiet, um, please let me know. We'll try and turn it up. If Trebizond, we were set upon by my thieves. voice is outpouring the game, and I then I'll try and sort it out. I think it's my microphone right there. We right there. Were able Hello, watch ready. Unfortunately, the rest Actually, of nonsense. So I'm quite close to my mic. Should not fall into the wrong I'd rather have the headphone mic than the normal speaking mic. In the place. Can't get problems with that. Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. But it's not, though. He's talking about the Lost Fleet. Yeah. I don't know. Someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands, he lands in, in Persia, Persia a year and a half later, later with only, only one, one ship, ship left and only, only 18, 18 passengers. passengers. Now he, he recorded, recorded every, every detail, detail of his journey, but he never, he told, never told what happened to all those ships, ships and, and the passengers. The passengers. So, so, so somewhere, somewhere out, out there, there were 13, 13 ships loaded, loaded with the Empress, Empress treasure, treasure waiting, waiting to be found. Yeah, 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 that, that is what your what client, client is after. Look, look, look at this lamp. lamp. It's covered, it's covered in, Mongolian in Mongolian script. script. It, must it must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shall fade the 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something, Something that pinpoints, that pinpoints the sight of the Lost Fleet. It's a possibility. So, so we're we're dicking this guy over, right? Damn, Damn straight, straight Luke. Luke. You in there, then? What the hell? What the hell? I mean, what, I mean, what could, could possibly, possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's alone. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not it's you. What else do you think is going to go illegal? It's not going to go right, is it? Da da! <laughs> Except hit one! You! <laughs> so I don't know whether or not this one would be switching constantly from like point A, uh, say, oh yeah, to here, to here, to here. Uh, future, past, future. Uh, I don't know if that's what's going to happen, I don't know. Hurry up, boy up! Uh, oh, electric, not what you want to see. I get, I get under the fire. Cool, get a bit around the fire. 